He wrote it with Hull. Dwayne Jackson, there you go. No, he didn't write it with Hull. It was Sheffield Wednesday's 2016 player. That's a weird duo, isn't it? Dwayne Jackson. And and now on top of the pops, (laughs) Jermaine Jackson and Hull. Here we go. It's the Pompey Pod with Mike and Dan. Good evening, Dan. Good evening. <laughs> We're recording this on Wednesday. We're not going to mention anything about the atrocity that happened, atrocities that happened in in Wales yesterday. We'll save that for when the wound is a little less sore, I think, next week. But this is our preview to Sheffield Wednesday this Friday at Fratton Park. Dan, how have we gone against Wednesday in the past? Wow. Yeah, okay. So we've played them. Mm. (laughs) Hold on, yeah. 81 (laughs) times. Oh, okay. Yeah, 81 times. Who's got the better record, do you think? Them. It's got to be them, isn't it? Always say by quite a bit. No, no, it's actually quite close. So 81 games. Pompey have won 27, drawn 16, lost 28. So only one game in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so now this weekend, um, can we? Last time we beat them, though, was 22 years ago. That was when <laughs> we were in the, that was when we won the championship. And I remember watching oh, that game as well. Yes, yes. I think I was in London. I remember watching it in a pub. And we were class and we won 3 1. And I think, yeah, that was the last time we beat him. And then we've only played them four times since then, both games. In, that was when in, they were chopper chops, wasn't it? They, they were chopper chop kits. Yeah, I think they were, yeah. Didn't, didn't, yeah. didn't I, I, I seem to remember. Are you sure you were in London? Are you sure you weren't actually at the at the game with me? <laughs> I'm fairly sure we went to that game. No, I didn't go to the game. Did no. No, you no, no, that was no, that was the last time. No, that was the home game. We lost the home game to them. 2-1, if you remember, ah, okay. in, in the in the championship when Lee Bradbury scored, but the away this was a, this was away we won three one. Did I did I not mention that? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, no, and I remember it being on Sky. No, no. Okay. Um, and we were very very good. But anyway, yeah. So since then, four games in League One, three draws and a def- no two draws, two defeats. No, two draws, two defeats. <laughs> so yeah, so we're due a win. Against them, yeah. I think. Well, okay, yeah, good, and it will it will even it up. It will even it up to twenty eight wins each. Yeah, if we win this weekend. Okay, well, let me tell you. Let me give you a little bit of lowdown on Sheffield Wednesday. They were formed in eighteen sixty seven as an offshoot of the Wednesday Cricket Club. Dan, yes, they yes they were, and that makes them the fourth oldest English professional club. Do you know who the three in front of them are? Any, any guesses? No. Oh, Arsenal, Everton. No, no. Oh, There's only only one of them a Premier League club at the moment. Oh, okay. All around yeah. the middle of the country. Oh, uh, Aston Villa, of course. No, no. Oh, mate, mate, I've um, just woken up. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> Notts County, Nottingham Forest, and Stoke are the three that are older than them. Three, three exciting They teams. are nicknamed. Now we we. Yeah, three big teams. They are nicknamed the Owls, and we, we discussed this, didn't we, earlier in the week, and we were trying to guess why it was. And it's because the Hillsborough Stadium is located in the West Sheffield suburb of Owlerton. Oh, there you go. right. There you go. That's then. why they're Owlerton. called the Owls. Yeah. Their famous fans include music. I've gone for all musicians. There are many others, but Jarvis Cocker of Pulp, yeah. a famous Sheffielder. Alex Turner of the Arctic Monkeys, yeah, famous Sheffielder. And, and this famous Sheffielder, do you remember Jermaine Jackson of the Jackson Five and the Jacksons? Yeah, yeah. yeah famous Sheffielder. He is mm. famous Sheffielder. He was. He was. He apparently goes back to the eighties when he fell in love with Sheffield Wednesday. Was seen wearing a Sheffield Wednesday shirt in nineteen eighty four, and even wrote a song for Wednesday's twenty sixteen playoff final match with Hull for Sheffield. Wednesday. He wrote it with Hull. Jermaine Jackson. There you go. No, <laughs> he didn't write it with Hull. It was Sheffield Wednesday's That's 2016 playoff final weird match are, with Hull. <laughs> and now on top of the pops, Jermaine Jackson and Hull.
<laughs> Rod Hull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, there you go. That's that's the lowdown on Sheffield Wednesday. That's all I've got for very you at good. the moment. That's very good. Who, very um, who's the governor? Who's the governor? Do you know who the governor is? Is it Danny? Danny? Danny Rohl? Dan, Danny Rohl. Yeah, Danny Rohl. German chap. Only third assistant manager at Southampton, Bayern Munich, and the German national team, and oh. took over Sheffield Wednesday last season after their dreadful first 10 games of the season when they're in a worse position than we are now. Yeah. Three points there and, um, after 11 games. I looked up earlier. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, kept them up. Did really well. Kept them up. Last game victory against Sunderland. Last game of last season. So yeah, very good. Hi- highly thought of, I believe. Highly thought of in the Sheffield area. Well, let me tell you about three of their key players, shall I? We'll start yep. with their captain, Barry Bannon, 34-year-old Scottish centre midfielder. He's been with them since 2015, nine years he's been with them, mm. formerly of Crystal Palace and, of course, Aston Villa. He's kind of he's kind of like their Marlon Pack, isn't he? But been doing it in the Championship for a little while with them now. Yep. They've got 30-year-old Dean... No, they haven't. Oh, I knew I'd do that. I knew I'd do that. Josh Windass, son of Dean... 30 year old striker. He scored the goal in the playoff final when they yeah. beat Barnsley to take them into the championship a couple of years ago. And then, of course, we can't not mention him, can we? 30 year old Jamal Lowe, centre forward, played 119 games for Pompey between 2016 and 2019, um, and obviously scored one of the goals in the Johnson's Paint Trophy final against Sunderland, um, which we went on to win on penalties. Lovely little yeah. finish it was as well, dinking it over the keeper. There you go. Three key players to yep. watch. Yep. So, current form. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 19th on? in the league. 12 points, so four points ahead of Pompey. Last five games, they've won, drawn, one lost, drawn. So, okay. yeah, not doing too bad. They've got three wins out of 11. Be a good team to beat, won't it? It really would. Will be. Bring, that, bring Will us be. closer to them. Yeah. It's a must-win game, Mike. It's a must-win game. Must win game. Six it is a must-win game. Six-pointer. It already is at this stage of the season a six-pointer. Mm. You are indeed correct. Uh, do you think we will? Who knows no. at this stage, do you? Who knows? No. No. No, you don't. No, you don't, no. No, or you don't know. What's the point even saying we're going to win after that shower <laughs> of shit last night? <laughs> uh, it was atrocious, wasn't it? It really mm. was atrocious. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Let's just okay. Hope. Well, yeah. I'm going to be. I'm going to try and be positive and say yes. We we have to win. We have to win. We can't. We can't. We've got to start winning these home games against teams like that. And we've got to put that performance behind us. Two terrible performances already this season. Uh, but yeah, we need a reaction, don't we? Yep. Again, a buzzing Fratton Park on a Friday night. Let's hope. Mm. Yeah, starting with Yengi maybe up top. I think he'll start with. Um, yeah. So, fingers crossed. Right. 2-1 win. 2-1 win for Pompey. And hopefully that will start to ease the uh, pain of, of, of Cardiff. The <laughs> pain. Mm. OK, well, there you go. What do you think the score will be at Fram Park on a Friday night? Portsmouth against Sheffield Wednesday. Pop your predictions in the comments. Let us know. Let us know what you thought of the... Well, you know, I think it's pretty clear what most people thought of the game against Cardiff. We'll review that next week along with the Sheffield Wednesday game when we're back early part of next week please subscribe follow like all those good things because it really does make us feel a little bit nice and warm and tingly inside that's it from the pompey pod bye pompey goodbye bye